Another thing before we get into questions today, I want to address the McCloskey situation in St. Louis. First of all, as governor of this state, I have always, always, and never waived on the Second Amendment. I have a lengthy history of that, where I've never waived from the Second Amendment. When the Castle Doctrine was introduced in the state of Missouri, myself and Representative Jones, Kenny Jones, two former sheriffs, were the ones that developed the Castle Doctrine here in Missouri that actually went to be the national model, which is the exact one the McCloskeys were defending their property with in St. Louis, which they had every right to do under the Castle Doctrine. Law enforcement on that night was available. We were notified through the governor's office, through the Highway Patrol, was not notified of that situation. However, that being said, that couple had every right to protect their property. They have the ability to do that as private citizens like everyone else. But what they should not go through is a prosecutor attempting to take their constitutional rights away by filing charges against them for protecting their property. In Missouri, it is very difficult to do anyone, do anything to someone that is elected official on removing them from office. It's very difficult. One of the things that we need to address in future sessions. I just got off the phone with the President of the United States before I walked out here today. He understands the situation in Missouri. He understands the situation in St. Louis and how out of control it is for a prosecutor to let violent criminals off and not do their job and try to attack law-abiding citizens. The conversation I had with the president said that he would do everything he could within his powers to help with this situation and that he would be taking action to do that. I'm thankful that he's getting involved in this situation. I'm thankful that he's going to stand up for people on their legal rights, and we're going to move forward in this state. In the, tomorrow, we'll be talking about special session. We're going to be talking about violent crime. We're going to be out time changes need to be made. But things have to change in this state. And if people are going to take an oath, just like I did when I was a sheriff, to do your job, you need to do a job. You need to serve justice equally for all, and you need to abide by the laws and the Constitution. So with that, Kelly, we'll take questions.